last Friday, I attended my friend's book lunch. And on the same day, my husband spent the entire day at the police station and courthouse because my late father-in-law's driver was stealing from him on the sickbed. Now, we millennials are in charge of taking care of our parents, employing their staff, so we need to be on alert because this can actually happen to anyone. Meanwhile, if you like memoirs, biographies, you need to pick up this book by my friend Mori Koko. It's called Unyibo Karimu, and it's such a lovely book. I just read it, and it's beautiful. A couple of months before my late father-in-law was hospitalized, he employed a new driver. This new driver was young, energetic, hands-on, quite hardworking, so my father-in-law was fond of him. You know, he used to say, ah, this one, no, they run from work. So when he was hospitalized, he refused to leave his bedside. Like, this driver said, no, no problem, I will stay beside you, anything you need. Um, I'm okay, I'm not doing anything anyway, so the car is here, if you need anything, send me, I'll just go pick it up. And so we left the driver with my father-in-law at the hospital. We were coming over every day, but this driver insisted. He said he was going to sleep over at the hospital just in case, you know, grandpa needed anything overnight because, I mean, why not, yeah? The hospital provided a space for him anyways. Four days into grandpa's admission, he made a payment with his card at the hospital and the driver caught his pin. My father-in-law was old school. He did everything with checks. He had no internet banking on his phone. He had just one ATM that was linked to an account that wasn't overfunded. So that was like his everyday spending account. This driver took advantage of my father-in-law's condition. He opened a brand new internet banking for him because he had all his details and his phone was right there. So all the verification codes were sent to grandpa's phone. He set up everything. So he started doing transfers with the USSD codes and it wasn't allowing him to transfer a lot out every day. So he proceeded to engage the services of a POS person. The first few transactions were to his own personal account. And then I think he was warned about, oh, people finding out later. Then he decided to start sending money from my father-in-law's account to this POS woman who would eventually take commissions and then send the money back to him. So he was whitewashing the money, if you know what I mean. In less than two weeks, this driver had withdrawn over 960000 He has dried up the account and he was looking for more accounts to hack into. He knew my father-in-law was a landlord and had so many properties and he was selling houses as well. So he was looking for the accounts that had the money for the houses. So one day he overheard my father-in-law talk about people paying rent into a particular account. He called that same number at night saying that chief had requested that the money be sent to that same account that he already hacked the caretaker called my husband i said somebody called me with chief's phone requesting that i send all the year's rent to a different chief james may account please is this true fast forward a couple of days chief passed away and you should have seen the way this driver was crying he was crying more than everybody else in that house you know, telling my mother-in-law, my God, Chief was the best employer to me. I miss him so much. Even after Chief had passed, nobody knew. But he was still trying to call that caretaker to get her to send the money to the account that he had hacked. Eventually, the caretaker raised the alarm. We started looking for chief statements and then we discovered that this guy had been stealing thankfully he has been arrested charged to court and you know he has learned his lessons however we all need to take care of our parents more we need to be careful who comes around them you never can tell thankfully he did not get a hold of the main accounts because he would have drained it may god help us all amen